Hello, I am Mario Grijalva, Director of the Tropical Disease Institute. Chagas is a silent disease. In its initial stages, its symptoms are confused with symptoms of the flu or other common ailments. In this episode, you will join a team of academic researchers and Ministry of Health doctors as they search pediatric cases of Chagas disease in rural communities of Ecuador. The best way to treat Chagas disease is with early detection. A cure is more effective the sooner it is started after the initial infection of Trypanosoma cruzi. Therefore, the World Health Organization recommends treatment of all confirmed seropositive individuals under the age of 15. To many children in rural Ecuador, simple medical intervention can mean the difference between life and death. I coordinate all of the clinic activities, which is a central part of the overall project where we interact with the community. At the clinic, we help provide health care to the children by checking them for Chagas disease, but we also facilitate general health care for the children. In each community they visit, the Tropical Disease Research Project assists the Ministry of Health in setting up a free, short-term clinic in the local school. Each Ministry of Health clinic consists of a general exam room, a laboratory area, and a doctor's office. Every mother in the community is encouraged to bring their children to this free examination, and each visit begins with a brief explanation of the disease. This has been a very eye-opening experience for me. Like I said, I had no experience with infectious diseases, the lack of knowledge in the U.S. and you know around the world about infectious diseases. Some of the doctors and people don't know about Chagas disease around here, and it can kill children. So it's important that we um, educate people. You know, and I've learned that you know being a doctor is good, treating your patients good, educating your patients even better, prevention is even better. Specific community data is collected by the Ministry of Health and kept confidential, allowing the Tropical Disease Research Project to process coded data that conceals the identity of clinic participants. Next, the child is sent to the lab for Chagas disease screening. We get the kids into the lab part of the clinic and our job is to test them for Chagas disease. After a kid is exposed to the parasite, of Chagas disease, their body makes antibodies to attack that parasite. And so what we test for is the presence of those antibodies in the blood. And the stat pack is what we call it. And once we put the blood on the stat pack, we put a dilutant that runs it across a test strip. Then we pass the stat pack along to a timer and it takes 15 minutes per test. So each child only has to wait 15 minutes for their result. The final stage of the clinic is a visit to the physician. Physicians trained and approved by the Ministry of Health treat each and every child at the clinic, regardless of the laboratory prognosis. If the Chagas test turns out negative, the child receives a typical physical exam. But if the Chagas test is positive, further intervention is warranted, following Ecuadorian Ministry of Health protocol. It's not uncommon for the clinic to see 50 to 100 children in a single day. But if the clinic is unable to diagnose every child during a one-day visit, the clinical research team will return to the community the following day until every willing child has been seen. And after that, it's on to the next community. Thank you for joining us. In the next episode, you will see how the Tropical Disease Research Project goes beyond the communities and into the bushes to search for the source of the triatomine box. Come and join us. <laughs>